In this section, we're going to be talking about something called the curved network. What a curved network is, is a method for creating a three-dimensional object using curves. In this case, what it does is it uses curves going in two different directions and then combines them to create our shape. As you can see here, I have several curves already drawn. There are four curves in this direction and then two curves, one on either end, that are going the other direction. Notice also these curves here are open while these here at the ends are closed. What I'm going to do is select all of my curves here, go to my surface menu, curve network. I'm just going to leave these settings as default, press OK. Now you can see that it's created a shape that abides by the height, the basic length of my curves, the bottom of the shape mirrors this curve here, the top mirrors this curve here, and then the sides are sort of wrap themselves around my interior curves. And this is what we end up with. Now let's do another one of these, but let's start from scratch. So first I need to think about curves going in one direction. So I'll create curves like this. One here. Then for symmetry's sake, I'm going to go to my transform menu, mirror. So I have these two curves here. And then again, this time I'm looking down on them from the top. Transform, mirror. So let's do that. So what we have is four curves going around. And you might already be able to picture what these might look like. However, from the top again, we're going to create our two curves going in the other direction. I'm going to make these a little more interesting. Let's create almost a star shape here. Like that. Now right now, as you can see from the side, that's in the center of my shape. Move that down a little bit to here. Now I'll create another curve, and this one will be sort of the opposite. I'm just left-clicking to lay down points. And again, it's a closed curve. And this will be near the other side. So now we have four curves in this direction and two curves going in the opposite direction. Let's highlight everything. Surface, curve network, OK. As you can see, we've got a pretty bizarre looking shape here. Let's expand this and take a look at what it looks like. Very interesting. So as you can see, we can create pretty complex shapes using the curve network command. You can see looking at it that the bumps in my curves in the center are represented by these bumps here on the sides of my object. The base is much larger than the top, as predicted by my two curves at either end.